St. Louis Art Fair is this weekend starting tonight at 5. You'll be able to walk through Clayton and see the work of more than 150 artists from all over the country. And that includes one very talented man who has a shop in Augusta. It is a love affair that began in college. Um, I started at Washington University and as just an elective, just taking glass classes. A relationship that heated up rather quickly. Once you commit to making a piece, you're in it. And the flame has never really burned out. Sam Stang picked up his first blowpipe in 1981, and his life started to take shape. Most of these pieces are one of a kind or very limited. In the mid 80s, he and two other U City kids opened Ibex Glass Studio, and their work immediately impressed. You know, all the buyers knew that we were dummies and we had reasonably nice work, at way too cheap. But it put them on the map and into galleries around the country. We, we did well, except we didn't make much money. In the early 90s, he went out on his own and turned the old Augusta garage into Augusta Glass Studio. These tools are made out of cherry wood, and all the rest of these are all steel tools, and they're all very simple and kind of ancient in design. They are tools that help him create stunning works of art colorful glass pieces with intricate patterns. The method is quite meticulous and starts with a rather heavy hunk of glass. A pitcher like this, on the other hand, starts with a hot glob. You know, it's just a ball of goo, right? And now it's, suddenly it's a bubble. And then a dance with constant twirling. Yeah, I mean, if I stop, you can see what happens. And spinning takes place. You cannot touch this, you know? I and mean, this is as close as you can get with your hand. Every edge, every curve is deliberate. Um, there's a lot of time spent designing it and testing colors and finding what will even work. It is as much a science as it is an art. If you cool it too fast, it will just crack apart. Several creations require careful cooperation. I couldn't make this piece myself. It would be physically impossible. The process is almost as beautiful as the finished product, and getting just a glimpse of it allows you to understand why this fire continues to burn. It's an open-ended art form, unless you run out of ideas and then you're done. They are gorgeous pieces, and you can see and purchase Sam's beautiful work this weekend at the St. Louis Art Fair in the heart of Clayton. It's open tonight from 5 to 10 and then reopens tomorrow at 11 a.m. You can also stop by on Sunday to see what else is planned at the Art Fair. Go to stlouisartfair.com. You can learn more about Sam on his website, samstang.com.